Step one is to find the roots. So set this equal to zero. So in order for this to be zero, either this is zero, this is zero, or this is zero. So when this is zero, what does x have to be? x would have to be zero. How about for this one? In order for this to be zero, x would have to be equal to how much? One, and for this one, x would have to be two. Now we're gonna plot all these roots. So x is zero, we're gonna go here. x is one, we're gonna go here. And x is two, it is gonna go here. Our next step would be to find the degree of the polynomial. So you can see here, x minus one has a multiplicity of two. How about x? Wherever there's no exponent, I'm just gonna put a one. So x has a multiplicity of one, x minus two has a multiplicity of one. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add these exponents. So one plus two plus one is how much? It's gonna be four. So I'm just gonna write n is equal to four, and that's the degree. Our third step would be to find a. So the number in front of all of these factors, which is how much? It's three. So I'm gonna write a is equal to three. Step four is to graph the n behavior. So when n is even, it's either gonna open up or open down. And when a is greater than zero, it's going to open up. When a is less than zero, it's going to open down. So for this graph here, which one would it be? Open up or open down? It's going to open up. So if it opens up, we'd have to start from the leftmost root and just go up like this. And also you can see here, we have to start from the rightmost root and go up like this. Let's go ahead and write out the end behavior. So as x approaches negative infinity, so that means as we go this way on x, what happens to y? So f of x, is y going up infinitely or is y going down infinitely? f of x is going up infinitely. So f of x approaches positive infinity. Okay, and how about if we go infinitely right? So as x approaches positive infinity, what happens to f of x? Are we going up or are we going down? We're going up, so we're also approaching positive infinity. Our last step is to graph the behavior between the roots. So we'll start here at x equals 0. And x equals 0 has an odd multiplicity because this 1 here is an odd number. And when we have an odd multiplicity, we're just going to pass through the root like this. And then if we have an even multiplicity, we have to bounce off the root. So it's going to look like this. And then we have another on multiplicity. So are we going to bounce off or are we going to pass through the root? We're going to pass through the root.